another leak from DJI and I hope this time is a drone that solves all the compromises of the DJI Mavic Mini that was a really good drone and all that for a good price. People call it the Mavic Air 2 and for good reason because it kind of looks like the stepping stone between the Mavic Mini and the DJI Mavic 2. A drone that's affordable, lightweight yet still has more professional features for advanced cinematography and more control. The first image is a side shot of the drone that has the new design of the Mavic, a very good mix between the Mavic Mini and the Mavic 2, in what looks like to be an average sized package. The motors aren't as tall as the Mavic 2 ones and the plastic seems very similar to the one on the Mavic Mini. We don't yet know the official name of this new drone, but it could actually be the Mavic Air 2, even if it doesn't look at all like the original Air. That drone is pretty much an old design, so they went for a more proven concept that has been reproduced with their more recent Mavic series. At the bottom we can even see the camera that looks more in line with the Mavic Mini one than the Mavic Air. That again had an older design. It's pretty obvious, it's a 3-axis gimbal. We can also see that there are two infrared sensors and two cameras for obstacle detection, indoors flying and even an LED light for illuminating the landing spot in low light. That was a really cool feature of the Mavic 2 that I hoped to get introduced in other drones too. The propellers look a lot like the ones on the Mavic 2, with a silent design and the tips slightly inclined. In this picture we can yet again see the bottom with the two obstacle sensing cameras and the inscription Mavic at the bottom. I do have a hunch that DJI will call this simply Mavic, as if you remember the original was called Mavic Pro. Just like with the Tesla cars where Elon worked towards the cheaper ultimate version of the Model 3, the same thing might be happening here. DJI maybe wanted to give it more time for the basic ultimate version of the Mavic to get built on the shoulders and errors of the other drones in the past. The propellers are quick release from what I can see as they have white and black inscriptions just like the old Mavic Pro had. To approximate its size we can take the USB cable in the back and as we know these are standard we can use it for scale. It's a bit behind the Mavic so the measurement isn't accurate but it should be quite close. If we multiply it along the Mavic we can see it's about 17 of these. So 1.2 centimeters of the standard USB cable times 17, about 20 centimeters or so, which is a bit longer than the Mavic Mini, with about 6 centimeters, and when it comes to the width, it's not much bigger, but about 9 centimeters wide, or 1 or 2 centimeters wider than the Mavic Mini. A more recent photo release of the new Mavic is a shot from behind that shows the really nice changed aesthetic of the bottom chrome grille and the two obstacle avoidance cameras in the back. I expect this drone doesn't have any obstacle avoidance cameras on the side, but these ones in the back can be really helpful if you plan to fly backwards. You can find the two air vents that we've also seen on the Mavic 2 models. The biggest change we can see is the controller, that looks a lot bigger than the original ones we've been used to. If we compare it to the DJI Mavic in the background, it looks like it has about 17 centimeters or so in width and about 14 in height. This would make it a more solid grip, somewhere between the bulky transmitters of the Phantom 4 series and the smaller Mavic ones. I'm sure that the sticks will be removable for storing them easily. The format of this controller looks quite flat, which means it could fit quite compactly underneath the drone in the same package. I'm quite excited to test this new transmitter, as I wasn't really the biggest fan of this phone holder in the older DJ Mavics, as you had to introduce this cable and sometimes it would go off from here and you'd simply not be able to, to put the phone properly and it's more of a hassle for me in general. This time it seems like there is a retractable phone holder at the top, which is my favorite way of doing things. We can see the three flight modes in the center that allow for easy switching between them, as well as the standard power and return to home buttons. Considering the size, I'm sure we'll have OcuSync on this one. There is a custom button at the top left, and what's curious, a camera button at the top right, and that could mean switching between recording and photos, or it could be another new function like changing the camera angle automatically or things like that. I'm going to make another video where I talk about the potential specs this drone might have and wait a bit for some more leaked photos or videos to come out. So subscribe for that if you want to be one of the first to know and after it launches I will do a hands-on review of it and compare it to the other Mavic drones.